Hey guys, welcome to my channel. This is the second session of caching. So the first session, of course, I will give a link in the description below. If you're interested, you can go and have a look. In this session, we are going to discuss about caching strategy like cache as a system of record. Under this umbrella, which is cache as a system of record, we have different types of strategy. Read through, write through, write behind. All these three together form cache as a system of record strategy and of course one more we are going to discuss which is a very straightforward strategy a vanilla strategy you can say it's a right around strategy so we will look more into details in this session so guys let's talk about what exactly cache as a system of records really means so system of record can formally be defined as any kind of authoritative source for a particular data element. For example, let's say you are looking for an information like a telephone number and you have two different sources of data providing that. But the one which is the most reliable, that is what you would call a system of record. So now what exactly when mean when we say cache as a system of record? So in general, whenever you are looking into a system, your database is generally the system of record and now when we are talking about cache as a system of record here we are talking about instead of database we would rather rely on this cache as a system of record we'll look more in details guys let's talk about the read through caching strategy so read through is one of the simplest example of cache as a system of record so what happens here is your cache sits in between the application and the database. So whenever a read request come to the cache, it will serve the read to the application. No issues there. It is very similar to cache aside strategy. But what happens when there is a cache miss? So if the data is not available in the cache, then it is the cache which will go to the database, take the data and update it entry. And then application will of course read it from the cache. So if you can recall in cache aside strategy, it was the application doing the same. It would read from the data base and update the cache. But here it is the cache which is reading from the database and updating the entry in the cache. So this is how actually it is different from the read aside strategy. Now where exactly you would use the read through strategy? It would be primarily used when you have a read heavy workloads. When there are a lot of requests hitting your application, then you need an efficient strategy and you can consider using read through strategy. And what are the downsides? Yes, let's say the data is not available in the cache early, then you are actually making a round trip to database and updating the cache entry. So it is a lazy loading strategy right so what you can do essentially to work around this issue is you can preheat the cache what i was, what i mean by saying preheating is you actually update the cache from all the database entries directly early on before the application starts serving the responses to the client so whenever a request comes it will always be available in the cache so that way you can actually mitigate the performance hits for the cache misses guys so far we talked about the cache read strategies let's talk about one of the right strategy let's talk about the write through strategy which is again one of the caching strategy under the umbrella of cache as a system of record so here again the cache sits in between the application and the database and any writes to the database goes via the cache so the application writes into the cache and the cache in turn writes it into the database. So are we getting any benefit out of it? Of course, no direct benefit because in fact you are introducing a latency between these two layer between the cache and between the database. So what exactly is the benefit? There is no direct benefit, but there is an indirect benefit. The benefit is there is a consistency between the cache and the database when you are coupling this write through strategy with the read through strategy. So what happens is with the read through you are actually reading from the cache and if the cache is always up to date 
with the right early on then there is a higher degree of consistency with the system so here you don't need to invalidate the cache all the time so in order to make things consistent between the cache and between the database so this is one advantage of write through strategy so one example of this read through write through strategy working together is a dynamo db accelerator dax accelerator here it is the read through write through caching strategy which is used extensively so let's talk about another cache writing strategy which is the write behind strategy the write behind strategy is also known as the write back strategy so what does this write behind or write back essentially means so here also cache sits in between the application and the database the application for all the write request writes it to the cache and not to the database and at a later point in time the cache writes it to the database so the overall efficiency of write in the system has increased because let's assume you are getting lot of write request i mean your system is a write heavy load system so in this case you can write all the write request to the cache directly and respond back at a later point in time it is the cache which takes care of the sync between the cache and the database for example let's assume you have a topic or a queue in the backend which actually uh, reads from the cache or the cache writes it to the topic and one application reads this topic and updates the database so that the cache and the database are in sync so this system can take a lot of write heavy workloads that is the benefit of write behind strategy and in fact lot of solutions like the inodb in some of the database storage engine use the write behind strategy so this is one of the efficient strategy if your system has write heavy workload so for whatever strategy we discussed were based upon cache as a system of record now we are going to talk about this write around strategy which is a very vanilla and straightforward strategy here the application writes the data directly into the database without even going through the cache so why we are even talking about all this because this writing strategy can be coupled with read through or cache aside strategy whenever you have cases like you want to read the data very few times or once after the write so this is when the write around strategy is used mostly it can be coupled with the read through or cache aside strategy very well so this is what we discussed so far we discussed about various kind of a uh, cache as a system of record strategy we talked about write around strategy in our previous video we also talked about cache aside strategy so together all these different caching strategy we use to make our application or the service efficient and improve the performance of the service so thanks guys let me know how you like this video and if you really like this video do subscribe like the video and also share this video with your friends or near and dear so that this can reach a larger audience